Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. I got Gog back. Um, I had to go back in in there. He doesn't swim very well, and with the with the building fill, filling up with water, I guess he just got stuck. Like I waited for 48 hours for him, and I had to go back. Um, and he ended up popping up before I could even get back into the water, but we have him back. So now we need to go talk to Scorn, which I think is the... somebody. Skull? The Skull guy, maybe? Um, so. Uh, of course. There's a dragon. The name's a dragon, too. I'm going to Where did this commanded your So it shall be. Yeah, yes. So your you shall be. Oh, wrong one. I got that bend will uh shout. Where'd you go? I'm not sticking around to fight a dragon. What? I'm not sticking around to fight a dragon. Eola, ma'am. It hurts. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> Make up your mind. She's been saying some different things lately. Or stuff that I've, you know, kind of... A danger lord is... Jeez, where's Eola? Did you smash her? Gog is still alive. We're all good. This dragon's soul belongs to me. What? Sir, where are you? Oh, you. One step closer to my return. You are a jerk. Dragon bones. I don't have enough to grab all of these. We'll just leave them. I'm not sticking around to fight a dragon. I, I've never heard so much sass come out your mouth. Okay, um, so now where do we have to go? Talk to Storm? Storm? Um, over here. So let's go talk to the skull guy. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of stuff we need to we need to um yell at. You must be calm. I'm sure there's a good reason Baldor left us. Oh. Something isn't right, Fenari. I feel it in my bones and I smell it in the air. Baldor wouldn't leave without telling someone. Somebody left. Don't worry yourself over nothing, Dior. Do you want a head full of grey hairs before you've seen forty winters? It makes my heart heavy that you don't believe me, Fenari. Baldor could be in danger and you will do nothing. If you won't help me, then I'll ask the Allmaker to send someone else who can. I am in no mood to talk, outsider. One of the Skull has gone missing. Okay. Who's missing? It is Baldor Ironshaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Did anything unusual happen around the time of his disappearance? Hmm. I do not remember Baldor acting strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. Where were they headed? Uh, south and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. Okay. The skull would be grateful. 
Let's go find this person. Search for a Baldor, the Iron Shaper. Oh, there's so many. Hold on. We'll take those off. I have so many, um... Arrows. Search for Baldor, the Iron Shaper. Oh, he's all the way over there. Wow. Okay. That's not a problem. Um, let's see. The heck is this? The secrets. A madman. Another one? I know things. Hidden things. Things you aren't supposed to know. Okay. Slow down. You don't believe me. No one does. They don't want to. I don't want to either. But I can't help it. <laughs> They're in my head. Um, what's in your head? Secret hidden things. I can see this going nowhere. Good luck. Okay, secrets. What kind of secrets? The secret kind. All right, then. Where did you learn these secrets? The black book. There's a black it book. shoved them in there with black, slick fingers. My fingers are too short. My fingers are too short. Get out. Uh, where did you find this black book? Oh, no. I didn't find it. It found me. Here, I'll show you. See? Right there. Okay. But don't go there. You don't want these things in your head. You don't. You don't. Never should have come. No, 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 sir. sir. That's it. So this is the second madman that I found. Um, just ranting. Scribbles of a madman. Read. Black slimy fingers. Black slimy fingers. Black slimy book. Tell Mithril Tower black like the black eyes. Like the back of my eyes, but darker. Getting things out of my head. Okay. Alright. First, let's go find the skull that has right here. The, that's over here. What is this? Ice pile. Okay. Uh, there's so much stuff I haven't even touched over here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, no. Nick Town. Like, crawfish dog. What is this? I'm gonna go over there, but whoa. Okay. What is this? I'm closer to I'm close to this. Oh. What? I mean there I am. Okay. Who are these people? Oh hello! Oh man. Oh. Oh, oh, this one. Inspire me. Oh. Oh. Leader Lord. Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh shoot. And, um, basically some heart stones. We'll grab a couple of them. Oh, there's another cave over there. Oh, I'm so tempted. Oh, I'm so tempted. But let's go to this house first. Because it's right here. And it actually has an arrow that I'm supposed to be going to. Oh, I get so distracted. Hi. Abandoned lodge discovered? No, I just want to talk. Can I... Why are the Thalmor here? Hold on. Where's my, um... Unrelenting force? I don't know if I had, um... 
I had taken the boost for the the shout in the book the last time. Um, I don't know if it did anything. It requires a large key. God dang it! I don't know where everybody went. Thou more soldier. Oh great! Where's the key? Everybody threw everybody all over the place. Ha. Huh. Okay. Good. Handwritten note. I grow impatient with your lack of progress. If you cannot break the smith, I will be forced to find a more capable interrogator. I expect your next report to contain more encouraging results. Mm -hmm. okay, we'll take that just in case we need evidence. So he has the smith, the skull guy. Okay. Ooh, coin purse. And money. It's not that I really need Please, the money. Someone help me. Oh, oh. Hey, dude. By the old Outsider. Yes. I remember you. You're the one who freed the skull from the dark spell. Thank the old maker that you have come. These accursed elves have taken me from my home. Are you hurt badly? Do you need healing? Why would the Thalmor I do not know you? this word, Thalmor. But if you mean the elves, yes. we're trying to learn the secrets of forging Stalrin. Oh, okay. Their leader, an elf named Ankarian, has a map. He says that it shows the location of the hidden source of Stolrin. Okay. Uh. Enchanted ice. As hard as iron and as cold as Okay, I've, I've mined some of that before. Stolrin can be forged into deadly weapons. But the art is known only to the smiths of the skull. Hmm. Where can I find they him? They have a ship. They took me there and showed me the map. You will find it on the northern coast of the island. Of course. Please, do not let Ankarian make his weapons. Kill him or let him live. But take the map from him. It belongs with the skull. I will return to the village. When you have the map, please bring it to me there. And thank you. And he'll probably teach and me how to make it. Bless your days. That's how it usually goes. Do you need do you need help? I am glad to be free of those elves. Okay. I've never seen such greed and treachery in a creature before. Ah well, you should come to Skyrim. There's full of them. All right, let's go find this guy. He's on the boat. Oh, good grief! I mean, I've been there. Recover the bone mold formula. Retrieve the Salmor source map. Alright, well... Should we go there? We have no reason not to go, so... Maybe we'll grab some stuff along the way. Ooh, is that that ice stuff? I think I've found where we can uh, mine up all the ice stuff things. I didn't even need the map. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, there's a, um, a mine down below. All e e oh, reeklings. Broken tusk mine. What? It, really? Oh, I don't like you. No. Oops. They 
remind me of? That horror movie with the little dolls that would come to life and come and like stab you in the silly pendant. God, I can't remember what that name that movie was. <gasps> that come from? Where do you- I mean, that was obviously Eola, but good grief. Okay. There's a mine down here, so, um... I guess we should check it out. Broken tusk mine? Why not? Well, I'm on my way to the boat. I totally got distracted. I was supposed to talk to the skull. Just, um... Whoa, God! Mm, I hate you! Oh. Ooh, wrinkling the door. Where's that... Whoa, look at these golden ingots. Oh, heck yes. Sometimes you can find some real... I'm not gonna take all the necklaces. Um, because I took those bars, those gold bars. Um, sometimes you can find some interesting things in their piles of stuff. It was, what is that? Glass gauntlets. I think I have some. Oh. Oh. That's where Yola got the skeleton from. So that's it. There was nothing else in here. Okay. Perfect. Well, that's cool. Huh? Usually places aren't as short and sweet as that. So the boat's over there, but there is a cave. Man. Please don't push me off. Some more reeklings, probably. What are they fighting? A horker? Maybe? Do they have horkers over here? Bristol cave discovered? Hello. Hey, Mr. Hunter. Oops. He didn't see me. Oh, you did. Boop. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay. So there's a cave, which I'm sure it has a bunch. Oh god! Damn it. I hate you. I hate you. Goodness! <gasps> But I'm gonna go into this cave before I head that way. Yep. You know, I'm starting to suspect them. Search Reaver. There's one in here, probably. No? Hello? Hmm. 
surprised. Which way do I go? Or was that all the ones that were in um, that room? Guys. Oh, shoot. <laughs> is he dead or is he just frozen with his leg up in the air? Why are there so many? <gasps> So many of them. can search their houses. Usually some good stuff is in there. he's considered um, I don't know if he's considered a mod or whatever but he um, he was in the creation club stuff that um, you could download for the game he I got him in a cave that was close to the dawn guard entrance I don't remember what the cave was Dang it. I don't remember what the cave's name was. Finally. For a bucket. Oh my god. A bucket. All of that for a bucket. Okay, yeah. I don't remember what the cave's name was, but he was next to Dawn Guard in a cave. Um, there was a what you call it? There was a um orc in there. I think he painted himself blue to be like the leader. Oh jeez. <laughs> He's close. He calls them weaklings, but they're Oh, 
cave with all these little reeklings. Just very well lit. And not organized, but it's very um well put together. What is this? Water meat? Man, I interrupted their supper. Like these things jumping out at me and I will probably jump every single time even though I kind of expect them coming now like look at this is everyone gonna jump out of here watch and when I do expect it they don't jump out what is the hell side a rabbit No snow, um, sledding. Another one popped out. Everybody is accounted for. Okay. This is a crazy long cave. I'm assuming we're getting to the end. Riding ones are are uh, Dog, are you alive? Okay, good. So very worried that I might have hit him. Potion of plentiful magic, thank you. I didn't want to take the boar meat. Look at all of them. Ooh, let's see if I can hit them from here. Boop. Whoa! That was fun. That looked like the Tower of Terror. Oh, and he's alive? Oh no, I thought he was dead after that. I guess he's gone now. Oh no, it's a bunch of pigs without riders. This one's stuck. Oh no, don't you push don't me you off! Enjoy this. Oh, great. 
Nope. Nope. No. Don't you dare. Where's Gog? He's probably dead somewhere. Or he probably fell off. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> you seem to be going somewhere. But nowhere. No? Ha! <laughs> okay. Where's Gog? Oh, there he is. I just didn't want to, like, hit him. Is he alive? Yeah. He went all out. I just didn't want to hit Gog with anything. Since he kind of looks similar to these guys, but not really. Can I push you? Oh! <laughs> Let me get away from the edge. Good, good deal. Good deal. All right. Um, where else do I need to go? Here? No. Hold, oh, oh, hold on. <clears throat> Okay, so I can go that way. There's a tunnel. But the exit is here. That tunnel is probably a backtrack of going back to the beginning of it. trust any piles of anything anymore like this I don't trust it Jeez. okay so then this just comes back to where we were we can leave this way Well, that was interesting. I don't know if there was anything supposed to be in there that I was supposed to find. Maybe there's another quest that I'll have to go back in there, but... Okay, everybody's accounted for. Let's go to the boat. Uh... Hmm. He was. He did come out of the cave with me. Where have, where were you, sir? You got stuck somewhere? Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Okay, so one, two, three, we're all accounted for. And we need to get the map from this. Oh, did he, like, deactivate right? <laughs> she raised the horker from the dead. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Go, horker, go! I don't know if I was supposed to talk to this guy or not. But I don't want to foul more anyways. Give me that map. Kill. Check the shadows. Woo. 
Ooh, you got some bread. drop this gold ingot off before it weighs my stuff weighs me down how close am I okay that's all the way over there so I need to go back to the skull village to tell him that I got the map I do enjoy sharing stories of my travels in Tamriel with young Nicholas. Okay. My mother was Skull, but she left the village and I was born in Skyrim. Oh. So why did your mother leave the village, have the dragons be no, no, no. What did you do in Skyrim before you came back here? Well, my mother used to say that I was born an angry child. Oh. It's true that my heart has always been restless, and fighting was the only way I could find peace. I was a soldier for a time, and then a mercenary. But I was never truly happy until I came here. Why did your mother leave? A trade ship from Skyrim struck ice off the coast near the village, and the Skull took in the surviving sailors. My mother fell in love with one of the sailors, my father, and eventually returned with him to Skyrim. Did she ever return here? Sadly, no. She died in Fall Creek, where I was born. Oh. What do you need? I came across a few of my mother's old things not long ago. Among them was a necklace that my father gave to her when they were married. I believe she would want it placed upon her tombstone in Falkreath, as a symbol of her undying love and the great sacrifice she made for it. Oh. If you find yourself in Falkreath, please give this amulet to the priest Runel and tell him that I sent you. He will understand. I don't have much to give in reward, but return to me when the task is done and I'll do what I can. Thank you, Skull friend. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we'll we'll go back to Falkreath. Oh no, I didn't. Want, I don't want to do that. Um, everybody's sleeping. Look, before I forget about this necklace, let's do this real quick. I love the welcoming committee you get when you get to Falkreath. Wait, I know you. Okay, where's the priest? Here you go. Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. Uh, Morwen of Skull of Village shrine. sent me to ask you a favor. Morwen, you say? Now, that is a name I haven't heard in a long time. Left to join her mother's people on Salt Time, as I recall. I knew her parents quite well, you know. Vera and Ulfa were good people, very much in love. Mm. Now, what can I do for young Morwen? She wants this place on her mother's grave. Ah, yes, Vera's silver necklace. It was a wedding gift, and she rarely took it off. I'll be glad to oblige. What a touching gesture, to display the symbol of her devotion in such a way. Tell Morwen I'll be happy to grant her request. I'm sure it will bring joy to her mother and father as they walk in Asterius. Hmm. Awesome. All right. So. Hey. My mother was Skull, but Here. you've brought warmth to my heart, outsider. You're welcome. I'm in your debt. Please, accept this as a token of gratitude. 
Once again, you've proven yourself an ally to the Skull. A Nordic carved helmet. Thanks. Hey, dude. It is good to see you again, my friend. Yes, I brought you Did the you map. Find... I know you faced great danger to bring this map to me. There are no words to tell how glad my heart is. Thank you, Grave One. I name you Friend of the Skull. Thanks. And I will trust you with the knowledge of forging Stalrim. If you bring Stalrim here to my forge, you can use my tools to make what you will from it. Cool. Until our next meeting, Skull Friend. May your hunts always bring you game. Update it? And your crops grow tall and bountiful. What did he show me on my map? This? Ah, Stallroom Source. That's where I was. This, or somewhere. I was right here. And I had found that, that section. I was like, oh, look. I bet you I found it. I sure did. Okay. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, I need to talk to the, um, the head honcho skull guy. Yeah. Storn. I heard from Dior how you went in search of Baldur. That was very brave. Okay. And in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. What do you want? Let me guess. You need me to do something dangerous. Quite right. Quite right. Well, at least this, honest. however, is paying work. Allow me to explain. As a scholar of history, I've always found Solstheim to be most intriguing. I've made many forays into the ancient ruins that cover the island. I've come to know those ruins so well, I could draw you a map from memory. That's why I noticed the new passage the moment I laid eyes on it. A new passage? To what? An old tomb, I think. It must have been opened by an earthquake that accompanied one of the Red Mountain's eruptions. This I'd love to have a closer quiet. look. But those old ruins can be dangerous, and I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. I'll be heading back there soon. If you're interested, meet me at the ruins, and we'll see what we can find. Now, I'm off to pack for the expedition. Sounds good. Okay, I'll and meet I'll be you there. I'll silent before she hears you and becomes angry. <laughs> there, I wonder if there's other people I can help in this village. Hi. The blood of wolves runs through your veins, Skull friend. Oh, yes it does. Um... What else does a first hunter do? How long have you been a first hunter? What kind of game do you hunt? Can you train me to be better in two-handed weapons? Okay. May your hunts always bring you game. What time is it? 7.50 p.m.? Who else can I help in here? Who are you? I welcome you, friend of the Skull. The dragons of old have returned. By the Allmaker, I hope they will leave our village alone. Strong, your eyes shut. You spent many days practicing your aim. The Allmaker favors those who work hard to hone their skills, as you have done. And I will keep practicing my aim every day. To your woodcutter? It's good to see you again, Skull friend. By saving Baldor, you help to preserve our sacred traditions. Okay. You're welcome. Um, okay, where's where's the head honcho guy? He's over here. So the dragons have returned. Well, the skull have survived worse. I've spoke to Hermaeus Mora, and he asked for the secrets of the skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. Mm -hmm. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Yeah, but you probably knew that already. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. He said it's the only way he'll teach me to the final word of Mirak's shout. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength 
to face him. With Nirak's corruption of the stones, the oneness of the land is disrupted, and our connection to the old maker is broken. I'll restore the remaining stones if that will help. It may. It should. And I will think on what you ask of me to decide if it is necessary or just another of Hermamora's tricks. Okay. Okay, so I have to uh, fix all the stones first before he'll even talk to me. So what's in here? The Great Hall? You risked your life to save Valdor. Your name will be honored in our village. Okay. Can Bandits sometimes come at night to steal our food. They think that stealing from us is easier than hunting for themselves. It will be dangerous. But if you'll deal with these thieves, we would be most grateful. Okay. Consider it done. Then may the Allmaker give you the strength of a great bear and make your will as firm as stone. It's got to be in here somewhere. Be welcome in our village. Okay, he's he's packing. I came here to study the history of Solstheim, but it's the Skull who intrigued me the most. Mm -hmm. I'm the leader of the Skull. Oh. But it's the Allmaker who truly protects and provides. Okay, so you're you're the you're the head honcho lady. Okay, I thought it was the old guy. Oh, she wants me to get rid of the thieves, which are all the way over there. That's not a problem. Argonian Mage, Volume 2! Oh my gosh. Let's take that. Oh, here's the first volume! Oh, what are y'all reading in here? You embarrass me, sir. Oh, wow. What are y'all reading in here? What is this? Read letter. I feel your words are not your own and worry dearly for your health. I beg you, please depart that blasted isle and return to solitude at once. My nights have been almost impossible to bear without you. To lose you would be the death of me. My love, if you do not return soon, I will come for you. Ooh, well. I don't. I don't know what... I don't know who was living in here, but... They were reading some smut! Ooh, what's this? Hodorf's journal? I arrived in Solstim and moved into an old house on the hill by the shore. Whoever lived here before is long gone. I can see well out into the waters of from my vantage here and hear all things behind and around. Dunmore bandits wander the woods at night, but I don't fear them. One, two, five. There's a calling from the depths, a rumble drone that sings to me at night. I've started sleeping in the basement. It 
plus keeping a knife near. The call is loudest down here. It will be ready for whatever, I will be ready for whatever's coming. Um, it is as if, it is as if a great machine re reverberates beneath me. I tire of waiting for the caller underneath to emerge. I walk to town, bought some digging tools, shovel, pick, shovel, shovel, pick. I started to break down the wall behind the bookshelf, plus dig down slow going in the bookshelf back when I finished digging. Why? No house guests here, but I feel like I have something to hide. How can I make Bjorn hear what, it, what I've heard? I must not lose him yet. It must remain in this place, for I know I will know the truth soon. The murmur in the earth and I, we talk. I lay my head against the dirt. Fire from the deep. Okay. Activate bookshelf. Holy moly. Ta -da -da -da. All right. Take shovel? No. Shovel, shovel, bit. Oh my. Bloodstain letter. Bjorn, do not come to this place. I have not much self left. The earth will take us both. There's nothing in here, though. Is there an opening? Maybe I come out of here somewhere. Ha ha ha. Interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe there's something else to this. He won't talk to me just yet. You're, have you put those thieving the bandits, bandits won't to be a problem your anymore. kindness warms my heart. The sunlight warms the skin on a cold day. The skull are once again in your debt, outsider. That's it. I. I. Curse my lack of organization. I know that book is here. A fine day to you, friend. Mm -hmm. May you die with a sword in your hands. All right, then. My son and I gather items to trade with travelers who visit the village. Who's your son? His name is Nicholas. He's a good lad, strong and loyal. I only wish he wasn't so eager to leave the village. Oh. I've tried to tell him that the world beyond our lands is Something dangerous is and cruel, but he won't listen. Okay. I can talk to him. You would do that? I know he would the listen to you. You've been out there the in the wide world. The you know it's perilous. Sure. Yes. Perhaps you can north. convince him. I would be grateful if you would do this fall. thing, outsider. If they grow they will turn upon I hope that you can make my sons. That is the way of things. We must be prepared. At least. Convince him to stay in the village. The thing he? will be easier with the beast so close. I've seen outsiders in our village before, but none were like you. Oh, really? Perhaps I'll be the first skull to slay a dragon. That would be worthy of a tale. Oh, uh, your mother tells me you want to leave the village. That's right. I want to go out into the world and earn great glory. I want to hunt the deadliest creatures and claim vast riches. I'm wary of living in this village. I want to do something with my life other than farm, fish, and hunt deer. I know it must be hard for an adventurer such as you to understand this, but we Skull live very boring lives. Oh. I do understand. In fact, I'm willing to help you get started. 
The world is dangerous. You, you'd abandon your mother when she needs you most? I know that it would be difficult for her, at least for a time, but I'm a man now. Oh. I have the right to choose what life I will. Okay, here, you wanna- I'm willing to help you, you get are? started. What do you want? I admit, I was not expecting to hear that. Take this, just give your mother some more time. Yes, you're right. She still mourns for my father, and having me near brings her comfort. You have my oath that I will not leave the village until my mother is ready to let me go. I can see that in my eagerness for adventure, I have forgotten my duties as a son and as a skull. Uh, yeah. You have helped Take me to see wisdom, and I thank you for that, skull friend. Here. Hey. I hope that Nicholas will hear your words. Um, he has agreed to stay. May the Allmaker bless After you with him. many sons and daughters outside her. Once again, you have shown that you are a true friend Can of the see? Skull. Can you see if there's I anybody wish that I else could give you a village. reward that is equal to the joy in my heart. But I don't have much to offer one who has so much already. Perhaps these will prove useful to you. These herbs are unique to the island, and their light cannot be found elsewhere. Alright, let see me see around. if there's anybody else that I need to talk to around here. Mm-hmm. Let's see, let me talk to this I guy again. I am called Wolf Wildblood. I am first hunter of the Skull. Um... How long have you been first hunter? In days past. My brother Torkild and I would share the hunt. But that was... long ago. Um... What happened to your brother? I wish I could tell you. He had a wild gleam in his eye. More so than most. In my darkest times, I fear he fell in among the werebears of the glacier. Oh, I found some werebears. What's a werebear? Twisted beasts. A curse of hearsay. True bears are noble and great creatures oh. of the wild. But the Daedra have no skill for creation. So they defile the Allmaker's workings. I've heard tell of men who, by curse or by heart's desire, become transformed into one of those vile things. It is a pitiable fate, and one that I fear has fallen to my brother. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? He set off from here so long ago. It's hard to say. Could be in Hammerfell for all I know. If you happen to cross his path, be wary. He was a fierce warrior as a man. If he fell prey to his more bestial side, he could be deadly. Okay. Why do you think your brother became a werebear? He never felt the call of the Allmaker, as I do. Ooh. As we all should. Ooh. Ooh. We seek to live in peace with the land. But he had an eye for dominance and strength. For unnatural strength, you need look no further than the beasts of this island, mangled by the Daedra. It's not a fate I wish on anyone, and not what I wanted for my brother. All right, all right, all right. So we need to go find Remember this guy's brother with only the when you have need. werebear people. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck she was doing. She's just living her best life right there. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. We have lots of things to do in the Skull Village. Um, we need to find that guy's brother. We need to go and destroy all of the um, stuff around the stones so the uh, old guy can tell us the secrets. And we also need to go and find out stuff about the books and some other things. It so, brings me great comfort to know that Nicholas will stay. You're welcome. I thank you, outside. Thank you, everybody who has joined me. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.